Hello friends, welcome to my channel Durango Hydroponics. Please subscribe to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the fertilizers I use for my plants. I'm going to give a brief explanation of uh, nutrients and the nutrients that uh, plants need to grow and uh, I'm going to be sharing also the, f the name of the fertilizers I use and where I buy them. Just uh, to clarify, this is what I do. Uh, you can do it another way, you can do it your own way. A lot of people do it different ways, but this is the way I'm doing it. So to begin, every plant needs three basic nutrients. Everybody needs, um, all the plants need nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. These uh, elements are represented by the NPK on the fertilizers, usually when you buy. There's also a secondary uh, set of macronutrients, which is what these are called, which is the calcium, sulfur, and magnesium. And the plants need these six um, nutrients to grow healthy. These are called macronutrients. There's another set of nutrients that the plants need, which are called micronutrients, and they are needed in very, very small quantities. They are, born, they are boron, chlorine, manganese, iron, zinc, copper, molybdenum, and nickel. These um, elements are usually uh, in the different fertilizers that we buy. There are a lot of fertilizers that you can buy. Um, I, there's different formula formulations for different kinds of plants. There's formulations specific for tomatoes, for lettuce for different types of plants. There's also solid fertilizers and there is liquid fertilizers that you can buy. As a general guide, uh, you should try one set of fertilizers. So you buy one brand and you stick with it for a while. If it works fine, then you stick with it and you, know, you can use that. As far as formulations, if you stick to a formulation made for tomatoes, usually all the other plants will be fine with that formulation. If you want to be very precise, you can vary that, but usually tomato fertilizer works with, with most of the plants that we do indoors. I recommend that you look for fertilizers made by companies with a good reputation, which is not always easy to find so a, a lot of the times you can rely on word of mouth from friends or other people that do hydroponics We're talking about these fertilizers that you see here these are the different ones that i bought and i uh, wanted to start with this one here this is made by urban urban hydroponics this is a tomato formulation it's a 2018 38 npk and um it includes all the micronutrients and micronutrients that the plants need. So this is a all-in-one kind of a formulation. I did not like this too much, even though it did give me good results. The part that I didn't like is that it came and it's kind of wet. And when you measure it and try to dissolve it in the water, it's hard to completely dissolve it. You actually have to crush it with your hands. To get it to break up and incorporate it in the water but it gave me good results so this is one option second option is a set of these two uh, they're made by the same company plus Epsom salts that you can buy anywhere I bought this in CVS you can buy them really anywhere they're super cheap this here is a tomato formulation and if you can see this has a, um, it's got 4-18-38, so it's NPK. So the nitrogen is quite low if you compare it to the urban, which is a 20. But you get this other one with it, which is calcium nitrate. This one has got 15.5, which complements the 4 on the other one. And... Together with the Epsom salts, you get a full formula. 
So when you m mix this formula, you have to do it in a certain, it's recommended you do it in a certain order. So you do the tomato fertilizer first, then the Epsom salts, and finally the calcium nitrate. If you don't do it that way, um, nutrients can block each other, and then plants will, will not have them available, and that would be an issue. So this is the other set, which is uh, same as this, just one package. Both of them have given me good results. This is easy for me to use, so I've been sticking with this one. Finally, I have this other fertilizer, which is a general use fertilizer. You find it in different uh, quantities as far as the NPK on them. This is a 20-20-20. And uh, this one I use to do, to fertilize my plants. I have a lot of other plants in soil, and I usually use this one to fertilize those. In conclusion, there is a lot of different fertilizers and we cannot uh, look at every single one of them. There's tons of them. So I recommend, like I said, to pick one, stick with it, and then see if you get uh, good results. You just want to watch out mostly for the company, the reputation of the company, and the price. And not always being more expensive means that it's better. So word of mouth is a good uh, rule to follow. I think that's all about the fertilizers that I wanted to talk about. I hope you find this video educative. Uh, I hope that you learned something. If you have any questions, please post them on the video. Uh, please also give us a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel and spread the word word about the the channel too thank you and i will see you soon